Yeah. I loved this show. Nice I watched all eight episodes. <laughs> oh, I have. Um, what did it feel like seeing yourself as Wednesday for the first time? Wrong. It's what? it's weird. It's weird to watch yourself or hear yourself, and and also she looked very different for me physically at the time. It was very new for me, and it's just kind of it's kind of jarring to see something like that, you know. Want to take a stab at being social? I do like stabbing. At this point in your career, I mean, did Tim Burton know that he wanted you for this, or did you have to audition? Well, I, yeah, I got an email saying that Tim wanted to speak to me. I just like heard about the job, and it, it's kind of random. And you almost feel like you're being pranked or something because <laughs> there's no way that that someone uh, so legendary, so such a visionary, I, I truly felt very, very lucky. I think I'm going to love it here. You mentioned that um, seeing yourself as Wednesday felt wrong, and I'm so curious, what was your favorite part of the Wednesday transformation, and how many hours did you spend in, in hair and makeup and wardrobe each day? Hair and makeup, we got down pat. Uh, I think we could get that done in less than an hour. I think for me, maybe wardrobe, I don't know, the braids were pretty important too. Putting the classic dress on for the first time was the most Wednesday, and uh, but I mean, the braids, I. The bangs were interesting. It was just nice that it was my own version and it, it I think it gave me more liberty to kind of play or try new things because she was unlike a Wednesday that I had seen before. What happens to you? I break out into hives and then the flesh peels off my bones. What was the key to making this version of Wednesday yours? Mm, I think almost going back to basics, you know, in the comic strip she's, she's described as kind of sorrowful and, and a bit more sweet and we've seen really harsh, sarcastic, and, and she still is that. I think that the script is written very reminiscent of Christina's portrayal in the 90s, but that also was the first time the character had ever been seen like that before, which just goes yeah. to show how talented Ricci is and like her impact. But um, I think for me, yeah, I think, you know, we're introducing her to another generation. It was like a little bit of just kind of paying homage to what had been done previously, but then also introducing the audience to something new. Good evening, girls. I'm Miss Thornhill. I trust Enid has given you the old nevermore welcome. You mentioned Christina Ricci. She is so great in this. Did she give you any Wednesday pointers? And what was it like kind of bonding with her on set? She did not. We didn't talk about Wednesday at all. It was just like a mutual really? great decision. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we just got to know each other. She told me about her family, where she's from, and, and I did the same. Please excuse Wednesday. She's allergic to color. Oh, wow. I have to know, Catherine Zeta-Jones, as your TV mom, on a scale of one to 10, how do you rate her? 11. She's uh, so sweet and so funny. I feel like her humor isn't appreciated enough. She. Everything she says is almost a one-liner. She's really great. There's some romance for Wednesday this season. How do you feel about her journey in the love department? I told them very early on that I did not want her to be in the middle of a love triangle. I think she's so competitive and she's so obsessed with this monster that's roaming around town. I think the romance aspect of the show is, yeah, because it's a teen show, and I think it's uh, kind of entertaining for her in that sense, but I don't think that it it's something that she obsesses over her. She's not boy crazy in any sense. If anything, people are just obsessed with her and, and she knows. There's also some fun and kind of dark stunts in the show. Did you do your own stunts for this? I did do a lot of my own stunts, but there's also a lot, honestly, I learned all of the sword fighting and the fencing and th there's really important physical aspects like that, like the fencing, that I knew that I wanted to do myself and, and have ownership of. So are you a good fencer now? I, honestly, not to brag, but my fencing teacher did say that he wished that he had had me when I was 10 because then I could have gone to the Olympics or something in the future. So, I mean, not to brag though, I'm not saying I'm this great fencer, but I, I kind of am. <laughs> okay, Scream 6 or Wednesday, which is scarier? Uh, Scream 6. Yeah. yeah. What can you tease about Scream 6? We filmed, we're wrapped, we're all done with, oh, you're with Scream wrapped. 6. Yeah, we were shooting in Montreal over the summer. Easily the most intimidating or intense scenes. I feel like, or I don't know, Ghostface, he's just, I don't think we've ever seen him so violent. So I think that it'll be good for people who like gore 
or um, just real a**.